Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel. Hey guys. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, I know I've... Hey everyone, welcome back. This video will be about how to create some nice shadowy effect using a simple uh, method in Keyshot. Uh, let's get uh, to it. So basically what we're gonna do is create something like this, where you have these shadows on the floor here and then you sort of highlight uh, an object, like in this case a vase. Um, and that's basically what I'm going to do in uh, Keyshot today. So here we have a basic scene. And what I've done is I've created uh, a backdrop using the regular model over here, the uh, this backdrop ramp here. And then, uh, you know, I go, I'm going in and adding some stuff later on. I've also added the object, the vase here, as you can see, uh, and a couple of bricks to just highlight and make uh, the scene a little bit more exciting and interesting. Uh, it's not, it's floating around apparently. Let's just fix that. It's not really that important, but you know, being what it is, I need to fix it. So uh, let's just move it a bit down there and then say, okay, the vase is floating around. That doesn't work either. Let's fix that. Sort of like this. Oh, great. Okay, then the first thing I want to do is actually you know, set up a camera. So basically I'm going to go into the camera settings here in the project area and figure out, well, something like this, might be a good scene. I like the perspective lens to be about 120 millimeters. So that's set up here. And then I'm just gonna add a new camera and that's gonna be my main camera in this case. I'm going back to the free camera because I have you know, space to move around if I need to adjust and add things, which I'm going to do in this case. Um, and then at some point I'm gonna go change the lighting. Uh, normally I use product, but actually I'm gonna use interior in this case interior mode and then change the shadow quality to at least four maybe even five but in this case just four uh, and then have global illumination uh, set up and then in terms of the environment i'm going to change that later on uh, to adapt to what we're doing but for now it's, this is fine so i'm going to add in a plane and that's going to be my my sort of uh, the, the the area or the, the light that I'm gonna use in the, in this case to create the effect and uh, for that I'm just gonna go into double tap on the plane and in the material settings over here the type I'm gonna go into spotlight now what that does is it creates this well spotlight obviously and then I'm gonna go in and move my spotlight here move uh, I'm going to move it to more or less right above my subject and then I'm going to move it way up, maybe around here ish. And then I'm going to set the pivot point to the pivot object, sorry, to my vase, which is going to help me when I'm tweaking and changing stuff. I can rotate around my subject, which is what I would like to do in this case, figure out a good sort of area for that. And that's sort of like the, let me just go in and check my camera. That seems like a nice setup. You've got some highlights and some shadows and that's fine. Um, going back to the plane and the settings in the plane, I actually wanna add some stuff to it. So, and also tweak these parameters, but let's just start by adding something. So I'm gonna add a color and it, that color is gonna be my cellular. Uh, and already now you can see what's happening down here starting to look quite nice but actually it's the reverse effect i would like so i'm going to change my color one to white and my color two to black now it always now it starts looking a little bit more like maybe uh branches or something of course it still looks like the cellular pattern which we're going to change by maybe changing the scale and the, adjusting the contrast a little bit so go into the contrast settings and up the whites and you know increase the, the blacks in this case. I'm gonna adjust the shapes because the shapes is gonna make it look sort of more like branches and trees, especially if I'm adding in some noise, which is what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna add a, 
well maybe not that much noise but maybe something like this uh, you can also change the noise scale uh, which is fine as well um, you know basically keep adjusting so you think this looks like a tree that, that could work and then you know that's what makes you happy there then go in changing going back to the properties of this still in the in the settings maybe I can up the power a little bit I can change the beam angle to make it bright bigger or larger and I can change the fall off the fall off is interesting and especially the radius is very interesting because the radius will change how the shadows appear on uh, the floor so the less radius the more sharp that will be if you add a little bit of radius it will become more uh, fuzzy and, and that's basically what we want in this case to make it more look more like trees right um, so yeah and again go back to textures keep changing it to you to you're happy with how it looks uh, this obviously can go on and on um, so you have something that you like once you have something you like you you know you can say well I'm quite happy with something like this maybe maybe tweaking the lows uh, it's quite nice that's too strong so again going back to look that was too many something like this right that, that could work and then again that's how you just keep doing that until you you find something that you're happy with this might be too strong setting the power a little bit down again um, but yeah and then once you're happy with this let's just go back to my camera scene so you see I have these shadows on the on the ground that I sort of like and enjoy um, if I'm not happy with how it's positioned I can go in and move my plane around to, to find something that still looks nice and, and great um, I can also you know move it up and down to adjust these things but I'm quite happy with this for instance and then I have already changed my settings in the uh, interior mode view but the uh, lighting environment I actually want to add sort of a new environment to increase or the shadowy defect maybe even add sort of a slight uh, top light here so it doesn't make everything completely black and that's just like a, a simple new environment there um, and then I'm gonna change my image settings right so if I go in here I have an image style I'm gonna change that to photographic and then I'm gonna play around with the exposure the contrast and then also the shadows maybe midtones and everything you do will affect sort of um, adjusting the whites and the highlights a little bit as well maybe um, that's all, all gonna help you in terms of what you want to end up seeing in this case this background at ramp actually looks a little bit flat so I'm gonna add uh, not a color but a bump to that one uh, maybe scale it down a little bit but just to add something so it's not completely flat once you get it rest up it's always nice um, but these are like small detail tweaks same with this one actually it doesn't have any bump which is totally unrealistic obviously so um, adding just a slight bump to this will help um, a lot in realism okay so but that's basically that's basically it that's how you tweak it that's how you do it you tweak the image style you do um, you, you add this plane in and yeah so that's basically it just um, all right guys uh, thanks for watching uh, I hope you learned something and enjoyed it uh, please comment down below if there's anything you don't uh, understand or that you want more uh, in-depth explanation of but anyway uh, thanks for watching have a good uh, day and uh, enjoy bye